Hello everybody and welcome to my first Let's Play in a game called Muppet Monster Adventure. Now for those of you who don't know what this game is, it's a game by Jim Henderson Interactive. That was on the sort of same level with Spire and Crash. Well, not on the same level, but it's in the same genre of games, the platform style. I can imagine it probably wasn't as popular as those two, but it's still a very, very fun game that I really enjoyed in my childhood. And I thought, why, why not play it for you lot? You might want to give it a try yourself, it is a game worth playing. If you just want to watch me, that's fine too. So we'll get started here, I'll show you the intro, and see what the game's all about. Wow, a vacation! We're finally taking a vacation! England, Greece, Arabia, Krakatoa, China! Exotic ports of call. And we're not going to any of those places. Instead, we're here to run down old castle in the middle of nowhere. Well, I know you're disappointed, Robin, but we had to accompany Dr. Honeydew for the reading of his late uncle's will. It's important to be there for friends at a time like this. Oh, but I have a bad feeling about this, Uncle Kermit. I'm sure there's nothing to be afraid of. What's that? Relax, Robin. It's just a tree. Nothing to be af afraid of. <clears throat> nothing at all. I can't imagine anything living here except things that aren't alive anymore. Now, now, Master Robin. Uncle Petrie had quite a flair for the dramatic, but I assure you we're perfectly safe. Ah, a monster! Are you all right, Master Robin? Wake up again. Oh, what happened? The good news is that you, Beaker, Pepe, and myself are unharmed. What's the bad news? Unfortunately, your Uncle Kermit, Miss Piggy, and the others have been transformed into hideous monsters. Oh, no! See, oh, yes! We managed to escape, and I found my Uncle Petrie's secret lab. We're safe for now, but the Master's evil energy is permeating the entire village. Everything in the area is rapidly becoming evil, 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 evil. So what are we going to do? I'm so glad you asked me that question, my young friend. Here at Muppet Labs Europe, we have developed some special devices that will help you return our friends to their old selves and save the village to boot. First, this power glove is guaranteed to get even the most stubborn evil out of any monster. Once removed, the evil energy is stored in this clever backpack, lest it get back out into the world again. I must still be dizzy. It sounded like you said I would save everyone. The backpack and glove are designed specifically for the amphibian anatomy. Wow, what a coincidence. Don't worry, you won't be alone in your journey. Beaky and I will monitor your status constantly. But I... I think you are forgetting someone again. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Pepe. My apologies. I will take it from here again. I, Pepe the King Prom, will be broadcasting from this convenient little transmitter here to tell you how to get around the village. When you see my face, I will have something to say that will help you out. Together, we will save Kermin again. Kermin? Your Uncle Kermit. Oh, Uncle Kermit. This is what I said, okay? Kermin. Oh, I don't know. I've never done anything like this before. You can do it, Master Robin. Your uncle and all of our friends need you. Well, I guess I could give it a try. Enough with the talking. Get on with the saving, okay? You're a tough frog again. You're a brave frog again. Get the monsters! Get the monsters! Go, 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 go! Me, 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 me! Good luck, Master Robin. I have good news, okay? So that's the opening cutscene, and this will we'll be taken to the hub world now. This is the hub, okay? From here, you can access all of the entire worlds, okay? 
You must, however, have enough evil energy to open some levels, but you also need Muppet tokens to open new worlds for you to explore. Basically, what Pepe is saying there is the way you unlock levels is you collect evil energy, a certain amount of evil energy overall to unlock levels, but then the Muppet tokens come in because you have to unlock the bosses. Once you kill the boss, you unlock the next set of levels. Well, the next, the first level on the next set of levels. But you may unlock more, you have more evil energy. Basically, just collect as much as both of the resources as you can. So here's our first level, Cast of One Honeydew. Peacock Purgatory. Cast of One Honeydew is the set of levels, and Peacock Purgatory is the level we're going into. So let's get started. Playing as Robin here, Kerbert's nephew. We've got to see the on again. Must collect all the morph powers in this level. Uh, the morph powers we'll be using most of the way through the game. You have as many useful abilities as you can see here. My jump, Gonzo's face come up. That's the ability to glide, and that's probably one of the most ones you'll use most in the game. So let's collect our energy here. We don't need to talk to Pepe, we know what we're doing. It's Peacocks. Get three more Waka Waka Werber Amulet pieces, and it will be time to climb, okay? <laughs> we can climb when we get the Werber pieces. Here is where Pepe will be explaining about the boxes, but I don't really need his explanation. The pumpkin ones you can break anyway. The easy card to use your glove on. You have to spin them. And finally, the helmets, you guessed it. You can't spin them. You have to. Here is a bonus piece. Collect all the pieces. Get a Muppet token out of the lock chest. You only need two more pieces of the Werber amulet! Our first enemies in the game. Angry, angry bush cutters. This is a tutorialization level mainly, so don't expect it to be too difficult. When you find three more Muck Monster amulet pieces, you'll be diving in the deep end again. Obviously, frogs can't swim as we all know, so... We have to collect the Muck Monster pieces to swim. Come on, there we go. So yes. I didn't really think of that until today, like, why can't I swim? I am a frog. It's not like baby frogs can't swim anyway. But they're not really babies anymore, they're frogs, are they? Are you have baby frogs? That was turned to frogs. You only need one more usually piece not. of usually the adults, bear amulet. One more piece of the Werber amulet, and spoilers, here it is. Hola. Good work, amigo. The Waka Waka Werber's power to climb is yours, okay? I'm certain you'll stay on top of every situation from now on. Okay, Pepe. Right, so, as you can see, you use triangle to use your powers, and then you move around with the directions. I'm sprinting at the moment with R1. And yes, very simple level, it's not very dangerous. <laughs> Do you only need two more pieces of the Muck Monster amulet? By the way, like, we won't be collecting this much, like, pieces of the amulets every level, this is just mainly. Yes, me, you only need one more piece of the Muck Monster amulet, okay? This is just a sort of tutorialization level. You pick up most of your powers here. Waka waka woo! And then throughout the rest of the game, just be using them. Those enemies, they can just die in any way. They're pretty easy to kill. Same with the angry. Angry Hedge Trimmers. Hola. Now we can swim. Ready for some in depth interviews? Hmm? Eh? <laughs> Mucky right, so. the Muck Monster's swim power will let you run silent, Hola. run deep, 
and explore more underwater, I guess. Wait for Pepe to finish there. So, now we can swim. Turn into our swimmable folk form. Hold X to swim slowly. Square to do a swim dash. Grab all four Nosferatu Andrele pieces and you'll be a flying frog in no time, okay? And Circle will use an attack on the water. Swim, skinny dash. Oops. And yes. Collect all our e-verge of the... Get his first level out of the way. With. The nice and cheery level. The rest of the game isn't so cheery. Oh, yeah, one thing I've got to imagine, mention about this game. It's got great music. I do, I do love the music in this game. Now, we'll use it for some levels, but... It's nice to see they actually put some effort to put a nice bit of writing and music in this game. Oh, do you only need two more pieces of the Nosferatu amulet, okay? Right. What are you doing? Collect some more evil energy. Hello, uh, Mr. Peacock. These hearts, they will give us hearts. As you can see, we have three there. I think when one flies off, it does give you a fourth heart, like a temporary heart. At least from what I can remember. So you can, you can have one extra heart and four, which is, which is a bit weird. But I have nothing to complain about living longer. Not a token, just sitting there. They're not all that easy to get. That's the end of our level. We can't access it yet. We need to open this gate. And we can't put through these bars, honestly. I don't care, it's just making it so. Oh, yeah, you, you can't get through there. Trust me, we game. Game physics, I'm not sure. Ah, oh, he got just run away from us straight away. <laughs> Congratulations! You have collected enough evil energy to open the next level, okay? And we're up next level. Good. So yes, evil energy will unlock the second and third level of the set. Those are jump pads. I don't need Pepe's bullshit. Just jump on them, you'll get. Oh, 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 you only need one more piece of the Nosferatu amulet! <laughs> Hola. Oh. Oh. Nope. See, I didn't get the extra heart from that flying one. That was a waste of my time then. Hola. So, yeah, we'll get more hearts. Ain't Hola. no thing. Let's see what's down here. We've got a couple of little mini games here too. We've got a race of speed up. Everybody ready? Okay. On your mark. Actually, get set. Go, 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 go. I like to have an advantage in this race. First, I'm going to get the flying power. Because that'll help me get faster in this race. Well, it's not flying, but it's gliding. Now you gotta lose this peacock. These owls holding targets. Hit the target. Is it an owl? It's, a, it's probably a bat. Just looks a bit weird. Um, I always fought the owls at first. Hola. You have no Sporotus glide power, okay? Now you can rescue everyone in the village with more on time flights than any superhero, okay? <laughs> Right, now we can jump and fly, which I'll show in a second. And here's our rest of the bonus. And we'll another token. 
Oh, I think this is a good tutorial level. I mean, it shows you, shows you modes from right there, so you'll know, you'll know what it is throughout the game. Uh, evil energy. And we'll show you the power. So if you jump in the air, glide, press triangle, you start to glide, you press again to stop in the air. And that's it, really. There's the exit, we can go out there now, but there's a couple of things we've got to finish up before we're done with this level. 92% complete. Probably gonna need some more evil energy because it's always a bound of rock map we can get in a level. And yes. This is one of the secrets in the game. There is a way you can actually view these. Get coins by killing an enemy in the level you've killed before. You get a coin off it after you've got the evil energy of it originally. You use those to unlock mainly crappy drawings that kids have done of the game. But then you also got a couple of videos to help you out. Here comes the sun, flowers. <laughs> right, let's climb some sunflowers. Get a free muppet token. I don't know why Pepe's forced me to do all these mini games. Like Pepe's like, oh yeah, you you are racing because you have to work for your mother tokens, bitch. And it's like, well, you're supposed to help me save the world. Why are you forcing me for these mini games? Pepe, you're a bit of a dick. But it's funny how you always say, okay. Very hard mini game. It'll get hard later on, but. See, good work, Robin. Do you earn this map it token, there okay? Goes. Well, the first level of our last 60 or so. I don't know how much there. There's a lot of them here. Right, um, what have we got left? 94% complete. Well, we'll go in that room we just unlocked by flying to that secret area. I think it's a shortcut you can take here. I think I've done this before. Let's see if we can do it again. I'm gonna slide down the hill. This will be. Yeah, you can do it. Do this. No idea if that's a shortcut, but it's a cool way to get there. Grab our three lives. Sexy way to travel. Who uses their legs anymore? Wait, have I raced that people again? I don't think I raced that people again, but I should have done that. Yeah, I need the Mother Token, damn it. Well, we'll get that done and then we'll be done with the level. You're mine, bitch. I can fly now. Oh, I don't know. Everybody ready? Peacocks. Okay. Yes. On your mark, get Pe set. Ah! Go, 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 go. I think peacocks are like the colourful feathers on their backs. Female, aren't they? I'm not, I'm not entirely sure of peacock anatomy. But yes, this is a race. This peacock is relatively fast. But I'm also fast. Also, yeah, as a frog, I seem to be able to run run much better than I can swim because games. Damn it! This is what I'm supposed to do. See, you get a good lead by doing this. Oh crap! Maybe not. I swear, I swear that went better last time I did it. Well, we're gonna win anyway. We got a mother token. Where to go, okay? Hey, hey, hey. You give him the mother token, okay? There's our mother token, and that's still level 100% complete. As you can see, there's that money bag down there. We want to do this level again, kill all the enemies in it, you get a coin off each one. 
And it, it might be worth doing if you feel like it. You can Hola. unlock a few blooper videos of the teleporting scene, which are quite funny to look at. It shows you some secrets within the levels, but I thought I can remember all it, remember all anyway. I did play the game a couple of years ago. Out of nostalgia. And yes, we're done with this level. And as you see, usually the level goes green to tell you you've completed it, but it should go yellow. Yep. Make that satisfying gong noise. That's that level done with. So I think that'll be the end of this first video here. If you like the video, feel free to like it, share it with your friends, and subscribe if you want to see more of these. Thank you very much.